Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about self-care, hence the situation we've got going on here with the face mask. Um, so I've decided I'm going to do some different story times and just to have so many different like topics of discussion with you guys um, that I find helpful in my own life and that I'd like to pass on to anyone who is interested in hearing. Um, so before we get started, let's grab a cup of tea and sit down, get comfy, relax and chill because we're going to have the chat. story time and it's my first kind of chat with you guys so I've actually written what I want to say down because my mind is gonna be tick tack tick tack so I've got a few points I wanted to talk about so in all seriousness I wanted to talk about what is self-care so a lot of people I feel like now feel like okay I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna eat healthy I'm going to look after my skin look after my appearance, look after my hair, eat healthy food, which don't get me wrong, is essential because we need a healthy body in order to have a healthy lifestyle and um, it's essential to obviously look after our exterior. However, I just wanted to really focus on self-care within and how I try and I suppose protect my peace by self-caring um, within my life and ultimately I can have good skin by using my face mask or I can have you know a built body from working out or I can have um, a healthy diet healthy lifestyle and focus on my exterior but when you're neglecting what's in here and what's in here you're not truly self-caring um, so some of the ways we can self-care is most importantly protect your peace so when i say that i mean literally consider your own happiness your own peace and what can you do to bring more of it into your life um so one thing i feel that we can do to help this is to establish boundaries with people within our lives so for instance, let's say you and a friend or you and a colleague or whoever it may be, someone within your life have some form of issue um, and you ignore it and you say, okay, I'm not going to bring it up and it happens again and you ignore it and you ignore it. Ultimately, you're then giving that person power to affect you negatively because if you don't communicate how you feel, if you do not communicate what may be the issue that you are having that person isn't going to know, okay, I've affected this person this way or I've triggered this person this way. So I feel like it's important to really communicate within your relationships, your likes, your dislikes, and vice versa. Hear people in your life, hear what they like, hear what they don't like, and make a conscious effort to be honest and be open. Um, one saying I say is that if you... If someone makes a mistake and you choose to forgive them and you give them another chance, amazing. And they step up and they change and you can maintain a good relationship. That's amazing. However, if you give someone a second chance and they make a mistake and they do it again and again, I think you have to understand by then that it's no longer a mistake and it's a choice. Because if you've openly communicated to someone okay, when you do this, it makes me feel this way, or when you do this, it hurts me, and they repeatedly do it, it's no longer a mistake then, and it's no longer about second chances. It's then understanding this person's choosing, knowing that it upsets you to continue doing those behaviors. So establishing boundaries is essential, and also establishing boundaries with yourself. So for instance, if you overcommit to so many different things within your life, you're going to become worn out. You have to make sure you know your limitations before overcommitting and your limitations 
so that you're not crossing your own personal boundaries. Um, so yeah, that's really important. Open communication in your relationships to protect your peace. And ultimately, that's what we're doing. All of these things that I'm talking about today goes back to protect your peace. Um, another thing can be your environment. So having a tidy environment for me helps me have a tidy mind. Now, obviously, it's easier said than done to keep on top of your, your space between work and just life is busy and things get in the way. But trying to keep somewhat of a tidy environment is really good for your mind, I feel. Um, it gives you focus and yeah, it just gives good energy. Um, not only should we keep our environment tidy, we should keep our environment open to people who are positive and truly support you and want to see you win just as much as you want to see them win. We need positive energy. Um, another one can be doing so much for others and not expecting somewhat of the same amount back, I suppose. Um, my a friend once said to me, don't try and cross a river, killing yourself to get to the other side of the river for someone who wouldn't even step up on a bridge and walk to the other side of that river. And I just feel like that metaphor is so good when it comes to giving so much of yourself and not, you know, understanding actually I deserve the same amount back. My energy should be reciprocated. So if you're going to keep it 100 with someone, if you're going to go above and beyond to try and ensure they're happy, trying to ensure they're, they're feeling loved, respected and appreciated, Look for the same back for yourself. Um, and yeah, don't be diving and trying to run through rivers for people who will not just even go over a bridge for you. Um, it's important also to have people around you who understand you, but also, you know, put you in your place when you need to be put in your place. Check you. Um, keep you grounded and keep you... Um, realistic and um, so I think it's important for when sometimes I suppose our minds can become like a whirlwind and there's so many things going on you need to have people you can reach out to who help you make sense of what's going on and also who can point out maybe if you're doing something wrong so maybe I can handle a situation better I need people around me who are willing to say no Leah you need to adapt what you're doing because you know you could handle this in a better way. So you need people around you who, yes, support you and encourage you, but also who want to see you grow and are willing to maybe step on your toes a little bit so that you um, change and improve yourself too. Um, a huge thing I feel we need to do as well is have kind talk to ourselves. So it's so important to manifest positive thoughts because ultimately when we go to sleep at night and we lay down, we're only with ourselves. Like the voice in our head is who we hear. It's who we're with all minutes of every day in the shower, on the toilet, you know, there's always that inner voice. And if that inner voice is not self-caring towards you, and if that inner voice is not, um, again, supportive, gentle, and kind, there's a serious issue because before you can be kind to other people, you have to be kind to yourself. If you have your own issues going on, a lot of the time, those issues are projected into relationships with others. And then that's just going to cause damage and upset within your life. So you really need to manifest positive thoughts within yourself. Um, Think of how you would treat a friend or someone that you admire, someone that you love. Give yourself that energy too. Believe me, you're worthy and you deserve it. So do not doubt yourself. Um, another big thing we need to do to protect our peace is to avoid self-sabotage. So when I say that, I mean, again, checking in with ourselves. 
taking time to be with ourselves. Life can get so, so busy that we often become so neglectful of just us and what we think and what we feel. We're conscious of what other people think. We're conscious of what our friends are doing. We're conscious of how we're betraying ourselves. Realistically, a lot of that is very irrelevant because everyone has their own stuff going on. So it's so important to try and zone out from the noise of the world and just focus on the noise within yourself because then you can understand, okay, how am I treating people? How are people treating me? How am I being affected by this? And what can I do to help the situation? What can I do with my own behaviors? And how can I reflect on people's behaviors towards me? Um, it's really, really about the energy of yourself and the energy of others around you, most importantly, when it comes to self-care. Um, and as I said at the beginning of this video, it is important 100% to look after yourself physically. Like our, our body is our shell if you want to call it it's what gets us from a to b it's what gets us up in the morning it's what walks us from the bed into the kitchen it's what keeps it going but the mind if you want to look at it this way is like the engine so that needs to be just as well oiled just as well okay i'm not going to go into much too much technical terms here but you know what i'm saying like just it needs to be treated with the same um concern um, getting our body fit is good, but if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, it can be an unhealthy, um, it can be an unhealthy habit. We need to just really self-care. We need to self-care within and self-care outside. And there's so many more things I could talk about, but I think when it comes to self-care, all I want you guys to hear is protect your peace protect your peace, protect your environment so that it encourages peace in your life, protect your circle of friends, protect your family. At the end of the day, you owe yourself everything because no one else can self-care. You are your own self, so only you can self-care and you're responsible for engaging in things that help you do that. So this is my first ever um, story time on YouTube, whether or not I get 10 views, 5 views, 20 views. I really hope that whoever has heard this perhaps is motivated to reflect on what do I really do to look after myself? What do I really do to love myself? Because no one deserves more self-love than you do yourself you can give the world all your love but if you don't give it to yourself and if you don't give your care to yourself it's a waste so when you go to sleep at night know that you're showing up for yourself the same way you're showing up for everyone else in your life and protect your peace sending love and positive vibes and I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to hearing from you guys and chatting during our next story time. My face mask is literally getting so hard on my skin right now. Oh my God, my pores feel like they're being sucked out. Um, so I'm going to go wash it off. The mask that I'm using now is, I'll just show you guys. So it is a turmeric oh it's kind of blurry it's a turmeric mask um and it is a clay mask and it's by botanical lab um it's vegan and it's basically to purify an antibacterial botanical extracts for the skin um I find products on my skin are quite sensitive, especially during the winter months, my skin can get dry. So to use something that's not gonna cause too much irritation or stinging. Um, so yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon.